Welcome to the Tech Today podcast powered by CEO Raider. It's your host, John Mayetta. Visit us online at techtoday.com. Check out ceoraider.com to anonymously rate your company or rate your CEO. We published a piece this morning entitled, What Does a Contested Election Mean for Markets? Because although it's not being widely reported, this election is being contested. There are multiple lawsuits outstanding, affidavits outstanding. And so until the Electoral College gets together and formally elects the next president, this election remains unresolved. And so it may take a while for the market to figure that out because, because it requires more than a, a casual glance at a Wall Street Journal headline. But we link to the order that was published by the United States Supreme Court on November 6th. We link to one of the affidavits outstanding related to the Pennsylvania election. And there are other signed affidavits outstanding in Nevada, one or two other states and if you recall, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a perfect proxy, of course, but if you recall the, the 2000 Bush-Gore election, whereby Al Gore brought a case to the Supreme Court, that took 37 days to resolve. So a resolution could, could be a month or more away. If you assume Biden gets in, Biden is elected in that the GOP retains a Senate majority, our expectation would be for a, a, a muted fiscal stimulus. Our guess is that some level of tax increases will get through. You know, that's obviously part of Biden's plan, and we think there'll be some GOP members who will want to see a, a tax increase to help balance the budget. You know, they'll, they'll never vote against an entitlement program, but they'll be happy to let a tax increase pass through. Capital gains tax would be one that I would expect, and I think that could lead to some, some selling in the market just prior to the end of the year. For those who believe that it, uh, cap gains taxes is, is, is coming, you'll see a number of PMs trim positions in, in stocks that have that have run up so as to not get hit with a, a higher cap gains tax. I think the other thing we're reminded of this election cycle is that the, the pollsters remind me of the credit rating agencies whereby they provide favorable ratings to to their clients, the issuers. You know, in this cycle, even with the Fed backstop. You would have expected, for example, a number of fallen angels to, to be higher. And much like this election, the, the, the pollsters, most of whom are uh, affiliated with the Democrat Party, the, the wide margins that they predicted, obviously did not come true, as, as we told you was unlikely in our earlier article from last Monday, entitled Tuesday's election will be closer than what the polls show. That was not difficult to predict. So more volatility ahead in our view as this election sorts itself out, as we imagine the, the media eventually is going to have to start covering this stuff. That's all for now. See you next time.